the senior walking trail. Um, the rain has stopped, so it's going to be a nice day today and over the next few days. And I wanted to give you a new location you could visit um, and get outdoors. So here we go. Again, I will tell you any interesting thing that I see. The bad thing is this camera shakes while I walk, but I'm trying my best. Again, look at all the new leaves on the trees. It has light, so if it gets dark. Again, you're out, outdoors. You can look for different kind of critters. I have seen some lizards out here. Look, you got some new growth down in the swampy area. Oh, I thought I saw a duck. I don't know if you can see it. But it's not a real duck. It's a fake duck. <laughs> so I guess somebody had one in their yard or something. It's probably hard to see. The bad thing about this camera is it doesn't really zoom in. But maybe you can get it to zoom in a little bit from where you're watching. This is the bad thing about people throwing their trash out, is it washes up in places like this. Look at all the green moss. There's a magnolia tree in the background. I really love their flowers. They smell so good. Look at those little yellow flowers. Can you see it? Oh, here's one kind of close. Okay, let's continue on our walk. Hmm. I see something interesting on this tree. Maybe it's some eggs of some kind. figure it out together. I'm just going to show you this side and then when I'm coming back out then I'll show you the other side instead of keep switching from side to side. You probably can't hear it but the birds are singing. That makes me really happy. I love nature, if you could tell already. Um, here you have a place where you can sit. Maybe you just want to get out and you just want to enjoy some nature and you just want a quiet place to sit. Well, here's a good place for that. Um, now we have a decision to make. Are we going to go straight or are we going to turn? I think we'll just go straight. Oh, somebody lost their fishing lure or their bobber actually. Do you like going fishing? Have you ever been fishing? One thing that I would really like to do is there is a program where you could do fishing during PE. I would love to be able to do that. Huh. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little waterfall over in the woods. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. But we could always walk over to Mr. Foreman's house and go fishing. That would be pretty cool. Hmm. That's really cool. Uh, little waterfall. 
once all of the leaves grow back on the trees, then it'll be harder to see things. Here's another bench area where you can sit down and relax and enjoy nature. Listen to the birds singing. Again, I like coming out here in the evening just because I'm not a morning person, but I can see how this would be a beautiful place in the morning. I don't know if you can see it from here, but I see some red berries. I don't know what kind of berries they are, but that's something else we could look up and try to figure out. jumping notice so don't bring your bathing suits and come out here thinking that you're going to be going swimming because it ain't gonna happen unless you want to get in trouble now here's a little gazebo so this would be a cool place to meet you're going to be out of the sun if you come on a hot day and people like to come out here fishing I like to come out here just to look at the water. And on some days when you come, there will be boats coming by. This would be a good area um, to go kayaking or canoeing. We're going to continue our journey. Look at the bird. Can you see it? like a woodpecker. He, did you see him? I hope so. I love it when we find interesting things on our virtual field trips. Again, there's a lot of birds. Oh, I see some more fishing gear got caught in the tree. coming out to another location if you wanted to be closer to the water and fish or just do like me and enjoy sitting by the water for me it's calming it's just a place where I can go and get rid of some stress it's just a soothing place you can see the water moving especially because there's a lot of pollen on top of the water today. So you can tell we're in, we're in full swing of spring with all the pollen out. And look, over here, some more fishing bobbers and stuff caught in the trees. We're going to make our way back out and look on this side, see if we can see anything interesting before it runs away. I love looking at this. Look at this tree. I don't know if you can see it from where you are, but it's hollow down at the bottom.
can still hear that woodpecker on the tree. I'm glad we didn't scare him away. Again, this is another place where you might see some squirrels. I've never seen a snake on this location. Just squirrels and birds and lizards. can't really tell from here, but more minnows. We saw some minnows on our last virtual field trip. The sun's coming out. That is a wonderful sign. It's supposed to warm up today and tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday. And next week's supposed to be nice so you won't be stuck inside driving your parents crazy. It's always good when we can get outside and get some vitamin D. Here's another place where you can sit. And I don't know if you noticed, but there's trash cans along the way. So people won't throw their stuff in the swamp. Look at this interesting find. Huh? You never know what you're going to see when you're out in nature. There's another one of those uh, trees with the hole in it. I look on this side at the moss on this tree over here. Moss, but I'm not sure if we have met Spanish moss in our area. I know when I would visit my daughter in Georgia, they had lots of Spanish moss. Look at this little stream. I love the way the sun is just shining through the trees. I wonder what happened to this tree to make it look like that. Looks like maybe a fire. Who knows? The trees could tell us some interesting stories, I'm sure. They could tell us some stories about droughts or flooding. Maybe a long time ago. There were Native Americans in this area, and maybe they could tell us some stories about that, too. You never know. Which, these trees right here don't look to be that old, but some of them are. Some of the cypress ones that we saw coming in, they're old. I'm just looking for anything interesting that we can see on our walk today. I know I've been walking extra slow. 